be fun and funny, kind, generous. She's smiley. She's fun. Nice. Sometimes she helps us with our homework. She helps us with stuff on the computers. Well, she started this, so that's the main reason. She's sweet. Miss Bonnie, she's really nice. I love Miss Bonnie. When we were young, we had a neighborhood house on the south side. And um, we knew that um, this was such a low income area, and these children weren't able to go for tutoring at school and get a ride home. August 14, 2006, we opened up the Walker House. They told me how they were interested in starting this safe home for children in the area of Newcastle where they could come after school and get help with tutoring and get a hot meal and just have some, somewhere safe to go after school. And I inst instantly got interested because I thought it was such a great idea. And ever since then, I've been working with her on a daily basis. The south side of Newcastle uh, was the most drug-infested area in Newcastle in, say, 2004. And uh, so the kids had to stay in the house. They weren't allowed to come out until their parents came home from work. Well, now they have a safe place to come to every day. And by the time their parents come home from work, most of their homework is even done. So this is an advantage for the parents and the children. <laughs> My typical day is the Walker House. Everything you know, revolves around it. Oh, Miss Vaughn is kind of indescribable. Um, she's a little force of nature. Um, she's uh, she's she's the the matronly figure around here. Everybody really looks up to her. Um, she's has a passion for working with the kids as well as just the people down here on the south side. Outside of the Walker House, Miss Vonnie is very involved in the church, um, St. John's United Holy Church, which is where the Walker House is held inside of. She is um, a part of their praise band. She is used to be the leader of the choir. Um, she's just very, very active within the church. She used to work for Social Service Agency. Um, and she's also started many other programs within the Walker House. I was a beautician for 25 years. I had my own shop. In fact, I still own the shop. And then I was a family service worker for Head Start for eight years. And that's what gave me, um, it showed me how to run a program and stay government compliant. Then I was a job coach for LARC. So this kind of gave me a background on what I do now to deal with different people that have different issues. But a lot of these children have gone through um, a lot of stressors. Um, some of their parents were drug abusers. Some of these kids have seen people killed right in front of their houses two blocks away. So these are the kind of kids that come in. We have some kids that are ADHD. Um, some have autism, ADD. So we're dealing with all kinds of children. We will not put a child out because we know that there's issues there. It's really amazing. A lot of the kids who are failing every single subject are now getting A's and B's. Uh, the biggest improvement really is that the kids get really excited about their grades and they will talk and talk and talk about how they got A's and B's this term and how they're gonna get all A's next term. Before I came here, my grades weren't so good. And then uh, Miss Vonnie, she comes down to where I live, and she knocks on the doors, and she told my mom, and my mom was like, yes. So we came down here, and my grades have really came up. To eventually see one of these children come back, maybe 10, 20 years from now, and say that the Walker House made a difference in their life. Miss Vani has had a tremendous impact on my life and she's taught me a lot about what it means um, to work with kids and how to be patient with them but yet love them at the same time. 